Ah, yes, the politics of envy, resentment, and division. Can you imagine my shock to see that's yet another article presented by those in CBC? Not at all. I'm very much used to it, folks, and you should be as well. Headline, CBC News, politics. Most CRA auditors polled say Canada's tax system is skewed to protect the wealthy. A new survey of more than 1,700 tax professionals at CRA suggest agency lacks tools to make the rich pay. Oh, this is the government. This is the branch of the government. You know, these are literally the, the boots on the ground, the mindless enforcers that seek out m many different ways and methods to steal and plunder your productive income and labor and wealth. These are those people, CRA auditors. Right? The very people that work for the government, the very people that are part and parcel of not just implementing, but establishing the rules around taxation, you know, which is theft, theft, all right? Taxation is theft, folks. Did you ever, did, did you sign a contract anywhere saying that, hey, some guy can just take any portion of my income at any time, write it on a piece of paper, and I'm supposed to abide by it? Do you ever do, would you, who would the hell would ever sign such an agreement or such a contract? Nobody would, which is why I say taxation is theft. But what they're saying is, yeah, the tax system in Canada is completely skewed to the rich people in the connected class. Well, yeah, it is. And it's a direct result of the very people in government are literally part of the connected class. The ruling class and a lot of the corporations in this country, it's like they're, 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 they're the same people, folks. Same people. Same people. They scratch each other's back. And it's all at the expense of you, the average tax surf or tax slave in Canada. I mean, the simple fact that they're acknowledging reality, I mean, I, I guess a little bit of applause for that. But once again, you can't even just say, a blanket statement like the wealthy because some people gain their wealth. This is the thing, people. This is what I want to point out. Screw this anger, resentment, and envy towards people that are wealthy. What you should, where you should break that down into is be mad at the people that have used government or cronyism, right? Or force as a means to gain their productive wealth. But if someone has just offered a great product or a service and a lot of people, you know, bought into it or purchased it or, or used that service, and they became wealthy as a result. I have nothing against those people. As a matter of fact, I, I want them to be as wealthy as possible because they're, those are the kind of people that actually are the best people to have a large chunk of money at their disposal because they, they know how to take care of business and they know how to spend it in the economy and they know how to get a, a proper return for not just themselves, but that actually spreads out and helps everyone, not just economically, but socially as well. Kudos for the people that have created and invented all these major and modern technologies, innovations, products, and services that we all genuinely enjoy. Like, none of us out here that live in Canada, you all enjoy the products, the fruits, and the labor of geniuses with amazing intellect, entrepreneurial spirit, and zeal, zeal, and the willingness, capacity, and ability to bring it all to light, to take an idea and turn it into reality. Don't hate on those people, but you definitely should hate on the people that are given their crony corporate counterparts or their fascist buddies a leg up over the competition. And I mean, how can they <laughs> lack the tools in the age of information? No, they don't lack the tools, right? They just don't want the tools because, like I say, what do you think, they want to shoot themselves in the foot? A lot of these dipshits that go into government, they, they just come out and go on the other side of it, right? Join up some crony corporation or crown corporation or bankster or oh, whatever, right? And, and they benefit on the other side of it. So they create the rules that will benefit them, whether it's when they're in government or when they leave, choose to leave the public sector and go into the private sector. They're always manipulating and dictating economic fundamentals and principles to benefit themselves and their crony counterparts. So that's never going to change. The only way you can fight back against that is not by more government bureaucracy or, or legislation, is freedom. Economic freedom. And having the capacity and the willingness to hold people to account when they do things wrong, immorally, illegitimately, and illegally. This being reported by Dean Beatty from CBC News. 
A union-sponsored survey of more than 1,700 auditors and other tax professionals who work for the Canadian Revenue Agency suggests that even the insiders believe the cards are stacked in favor of the rich. Nine out of ten surveyed agreed with the statement. It is easier for corporations and wealthy individuals to evade and or avoid tax responsibilities than it is for average Canadians. Ha <laughs> ha Wow, shock and revelations. Like you can literally go out there to even Canadians with really low IQs and they'd be able to tell you that. So are they giving you any revelations that we don't already know? Not so far. That's according to a summary of results released by the Professional Institute of the Public Service of Canada, PIPSC, which conducted the poll. <laughs> Probably using taxpayer payer dollars or whatever to fund it, right? So, yeah, like I say, immoral, inept people that just don't seem to realize that, hey, all you have to do is hold up the mirror and you realize, oh, shit, maybe there's, oh, look, that looks like a culprit right there. Oh, damn, that's me. More than 8 out of 10 of those polls agreed that tax credits, tax exemptions, exemptions, and tax loopholes disproportionately benefit corporations and wealthy Canadians compared to average Canadians. And 45% agreed that CRA's mandate has been compromised by political interference. The survey did not define the term, leaving it up to members to interpret. Anyways, I'll post a link to this article in the description of the video below. <laughs> like I say, these are people like are, are trying to point out like all this thing. But it's your fault. It's your fault. Stop supporting these fucking crony corporations, these governments, and these lobbying efforts. How about we eliminate the ability for anyone to lobby the government to create legislation that benefits them particularly or their corporation? How, hey, how about we just put minimal rules? How about we allow the market, how about we allow the free market to decide and determine who are the true winners and losers in the economy? Because that, like I say, that, that allows everyone to be held responsible and accountable, each and every individual and each and every business or corporation. Oh, but, but apparently we can't allow that. Oh, because free market's scary. Anyways, like I say, this stuff is just one more clear-cut example of why big government is completely counter to anything even remotely resembling freedom, both socially and economically. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.